Hello fellas, it's me again. Just another quick video. Today's little equipment inspection is a streetlight. More specifically, a Philips SGS203 for 250 watt high pressure sodium lamps. Although 250 watt was a bit too much for my liking, so I had some spare gear lying around and I've re geared it for 150 watt. So let's have a closer look, shall we? Here's a close up of the optics. It's got a polycarbonate uh, bowl which has suffered some damage over the years. It's gone slightly yellow and there's a few cracks in it but obviously nothing too much to worry about and you can see the reflector if you're not in the top corners of the reflector and the screw in the middle it can be repositioned so that the beam can be changed. For example if it was mounted on a short outreach arm or on a long outreach arm the spread of light can be controlled. Let's have a look at the other side now. Just a quick view of the bottom there, you can see a nice heat sink from the control gear, the manufacturer's name and the spigot mount. We'll have a closer look at that in a minute. The whole frame is made out of cast alloy. Just a quick look at the main mount. It's slid onto the end of the spigot and then secured via those two very large grub screws. Now the whole assembly can be removed via those two cap screws you can see and repositioned the other way so then the lantern can be mounted post top. There's a quick view of the top canopy. It's made from glass fiber reinforced plastic and it's secured via the clip at the front which once released the whole canopy swings up and locks into position so you can access the lamp for relamping and also the control gear if any maintenance on that is required. There's a quick look at the photo control unit. This controls when the light goes on, when it gets dark and also when it switches off when it gets light. It uses a standard NEMA socket, which I can show you now. This particular photo cell is a Zodian SS6 and it's set to come on at 70 lux. And you can basically, yeah, there's the detector right there where my thumb is. So if we turn it over we can see the live in, the neutral and the switch load. These are available in a variety of ratings from 70 lux even down to 20 lux. Some of them are microprocessor controlled to enable part night operation. Well we can have a look inside now. The front catch is here. It's a bit stiff. It lifts up. Should lock into place. There we go. Let's have a closer look. And there's the canopy locked in the maintenance position. I've just popped out the bowl just so it sits flatter. And the lamp which is in there is 150 watt high pressure sodium. The one next to it is just for size comparison. That's the one which the lantern was originally designed to take. The 250 watt. So let's have a look at the control gear. And there's the gear tray. The unit itself just slots in and is removable with no tools needed at all. At the front there we can see the nice big chunky choke. It's a Philips BSN 150L407 ITS. It's rated for 240 volts, 50 hertz. You can see the main cable entry, the terminal block and the protected wire that goes up that just goes to the photocell. Here we can see the igniter at the bottom. It's Philips SN58. It's a semi-parallel type igniter and it's suitable for lamp wattages of 100 to 600 watts. That's metal halide or high pressure sodium. The small can above it is a power factor correction capacitor. It's not original to the lantern because the Cambridge capacitor branded one that was supplied was shot. And I don't really think too much of that company to be honest. The capacitors don't really seem to last very long. And just to finish off, just a quick view of the lamp holder itself, the 150 watt lamp which I'm using with it, and the placard which lists the model name, the wattage and the voltage. Note it says 250 watts, that's what it used to be but that's a bit overkill for my uses. 150 watt is still quite bright. Anyway, thanks for watching, I hope you found this interesting. 
See you later, fellas, if there's any still watching. Bye bye. As a sort of addendum, if you're wondering where the section is where it gets fired up, well, uh, wait till it gets dark and look out your window. <laughs> Never mind. See you later.